Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an interactive worksheet. Um, and this one will make a sorting activity. So I am going to clean up my workspace. I'm going to get rid of these themes. If you have your speaker notes showing at the bottom, you can get rid of them by, if they're there, you just get rid of them by clicking view and then unclick show speaker notes. Um, I want a blank slide, so I'm going to right click on my slide on the left, select apply layout and blank. And remember, right click on the trackpad is two fingers at the same time on the trackpad. So what I'm making now is the worksheet itself, the part that you would normally photocopy and hand out to the students. Nothing that I want to drag around or move. So let me insert a text box at the top. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, if you want your worksheet to be this size, you can leave it like this. If you want it to look like a traditional worksheet, you can go to File and then Page Setup, Custom, 8.5 by 11. So it's up to you, whatever works best for your activity. So I'm going to make a sorting activity. Uh, I want to be able to see a little bit better, so I'm going to go to View, Zoom, 100%, and I'm going to insert a text box for name and directions at the top. So I'm going to select a font that I like from my fonts list, and I'm going to select Name and Directions drag and drop the pictures into the correct category. And obviously you can elaborate on this as much as you want. And then you just resize your text box so it fits right up there on the screen. And I'm going to make a sorting activity where there will be some pictures at the top and then at the bottom there'll be um, a space for the students to uh, to drag and drop those into. So I'm actually going to zoom back out to fit because I want to see the whole screen again. And I need to make a space on the bottom for them to sort into. So let me insert a shape. I particularly like this rectangle with the rounded corners. And then I'm just going to insert this. I like to be able to see the whole screen so that I know that um, it's fitting in there the way I want it to. And then I want to do a couple of things. One is it's kind of light gray in its background. That must be the last color I used. So I'm going to select the bucket at the top and then choose transparent. And I also want to make those borders nice and thick. So I'm going to pick a border weight and three points. Okay, so this looks great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to press Command D or Control D and then just drag it right next to the other one and then just arrange them how I want them to look. Okay, scoot it over a little bit. Great, those look perfect. So now I'm going to put in a text box again. And I can either start a new text box or what I can do is I can just get rid of that text box. I'm going to Command Z to get rid of it. Command or Control Z undoes whatever you last did. And actually I'm going to duplicate this text box. I'm going to duplicate it and drag the new one down. Here we go. Drag it down because now it'll have the font that I like, so I don't have to redo the font. So you either do a new one um, and pick the font, or you can do a duplicate. Living Things, and I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to bold it, so you can either select that at the top, or you can um, Command B or, con or Control B. Um, I also want to press Format, Align, Center, because I want it centered in my text box. And I actually want to underline that as well. So again, you can use the underline at the top or 
um, command you or control you. So that looks good. So I'm just going to size this up a little bit. And now I'm going to duplicate this again, Command D or Control D. And I'm going to move it over to this one and make this non-living things. OK. So I want to make sure these are lined up. This one looks a little lower. And you can play around with that, get it where you like it. Okay, that looks great. So really that's it for the worksheet as far as the part that would be photocopied. Because now I just need to put in the pictures that students are going to drag down here into the appropriate categories. So I'm going to title my uh, presentation, Living Things Background. And I'm going to press File, Download. PNG image. Now I'm going to start a new presentation file. New presentation. And in my new one, if I, in my uh, worksheet, I changed the size, so I need to do that again. Go to File, Page Setup, Custom, make sure everything is the same size. 8.5 by 11 again, apply, and then again I want a blank slide so I can either do the same thing and do the apply layout thing or you can just delete these text boxes either way. Uh, I just clicked on them and then press delete. Um, and so now what I want to do is I'm going to go to insert, oh actually no I'm not, I'm going to go to background, sorry, uh, change background right here on the top banner and choose image. I'm going to upload, and for me, it's in downloads on my computer, and done. And the reason that I want it as a background is because now students can't move these at all. If I try and pick these up and move them, they can't. If I had done it as insert image, they'd be able to. So let me get rid of themes on the side, and I'm going to zoom in. Again, so let's view, zoom 100%. There's a couple things I want to do here. I want to insert a text box for the name so students can type their name. So let me just put that text box in here. And I also want to put in some pictures. So let me insert image, search the web, um, and let me put an octopus, transparent, and now I can drag this guy over here. And he obviously needs to be resized, so you just drag it around to resize it. Okay, we're getting there. Do the diagonal to get both at the same time. Okay, so that looks good. Now, how about an umbrella? That's definitely a non-living thing. Okay, and you can see, you can see it right over the slide because it's a transparent image. And again, I'm gonna drag it from the corner, the diagonal corner, to make it to do both at the same time. Okay, this looks good. And you can do as many images as you like. So you get the idea. Um, now students will be able to, when the students receive a copy of this worksheet, what they'll be able to do is drag the items. Um, let's go back to Zoom Fit. They can drag the items to the appropriate category. So that looks great. So that's the activity. So this is really easy to do with sorting activities. So now we just need to assign it in classroom. Now before you assign it in classroom, make sure that it's exactly how you want it because assigning it in classroom is like making a photocopy. So let me just flip over to my classroom. Oops, before I flip over to classroom, I've got to name my presentation. So 
living things versus non living things sorting activity okay now that we've got a good name for it now let's flip over to classroom okay so now we're in classroom so let's go over to classwork create assignment so title your assignment whatever you like and Add it to a topic, however you want it to be organized in your classroom. Give whatever instructions you like. And now let's click Add, Google Drive. And it should be right here in my recent since I just made it. And there it is. And now I'm going to choose Make a Copy for each student. And remember, this is just like a photocopy. So make sure it's exactly how you want it before you send it out. Press Assign. And that's it. Your students have their sorting activity where they can't change the worksheet itself, they can only drag around the images that you want them to. Have fun with your worksheets.